As I told you in my reporting last weekend, that special piece of equipment used by fire crews to smother the flames of an electric vehicle fire is known as an electric vehicle fire blanket. So I caught up with electric vehicle drivers here at the supercharger station near Eastern and Russell who were very excited to learn that fire crews now carry specific gear to help keep them safe. This is Tesla driver Anna Cox. That's a specific for electric car? Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm showing her video of Clark County fire crews using their electric vehicle fire blanket. She had no idea technology like that even existed. My concern is if we get into an accident and uh, kind of explode on us. Which eases her mind about driving her electric car. You feel better? Better. We got a first-hand look at CCFD crews training with the blankets Wednesday morning. Luckily, we haven't had very many of them, but the potential is there. Captain Marcus Barfield says that's because there are more electric vehicles on our roadways these days. And if they catch fire, it's not an easy problem to solve since EV fires can last for hours or even days. The EV batteries will produce their own oxygen and keep burning. We have to cool them below that temperature. What the EV blankets are great at is covering up the smoke and gases that could get in the air. So in addition to the blanket, crews use what's called a turtle nozzle, sliding it under the car and spraying water directly on the battery water. to cool it below that self-oxidizing temperature. The county started training on these blankets two years ago. As you can see, that's necessary for how cumbersome they can be to deploy. CCFD has six of them so far, and Captain Barfield says each one costs about $1,200. Which is a drop in the bucket compared to how much good they do when we do use them. What was the question that you asked me not too long ago? If we should buy one and keep in the trunk. I took that question right to Captain Barfield. Is this a technology that people could or should have in their garage or in their car? Um, absolutely not. Again, if your car is on fire, whether it's gas or electric, firefighters say the best thing to do is evacuate your car, call 911, and leave it to the professionals. Reporting in the East Valley, I'm Guy Tonnenbach.